Hello everybody, Bill here from QA1. Um, and today I want to talk to you about a very popular topic that we get a lot of phone calls on is how do I know what spring rate I need? Um, there's a couple of different methods to do it. Uh, you can get your car weighed on some corner scales like what we've got over here. Uh, we've got a set of scales that will weigh each corner of the car individually. You can use that number to determine what kind of spring rates you need. Um, the other way to tell is if you have a spring that you, that you know what it is, uh, for example, this is a 14 HT150, which means it's a 14 inch free length with 150 pound per inch spring rate. If you can see how far that spring is compressing, we can very easily determine how much force is on the car. What works really well about that is that that takes into account any sort of shock angle that you've got. It takes into account, um, it doesn't measure uh, your unsprung mass, which is your weight of your wheels, your tires, your brakes, your half your control arms, all that stuff, is just looking at what force is on the spring. So if this particular spring, which again is a 14 HT150, if that were on the back of a car and we measured it out and it was coming down to 11 inches, that would mean that it's compressing three inches. From our spring rate video, if you haven't seen it, you can check it out. Um, we know that spring rate is measured by how much force it takes to compress the spring one inch. So if we know our spring is compressing three inches from its free length, and we know that it's 150 pounds per inch, that tells us right there that that particular spring has 450 pounds of force on it. That's just a multiplication of three inches of compression uh, times the spring rate, which is 150 pounds per inch. Generally, we want to shoot for somewhere between 25 and 35 percent of the free length to be compressed with the weight of the car on it. So that's going to change for your front and your rear. Uh, depending on what style of suspension it is. If it's an independent, it's going to be a higher spring rate than a solid axle. Um, but we want to see it compressing. And there, there is a range there because different springs will work for different things. There's not one perfect spring that's going to make your car work and every other spring is going to be junk. There's a range of springs that will work for different applications. Um, so don't get too caught up on what is my absolute perfect spring rate, especially if you're looking at between, you know, like a 150 and a 170. They're only one step apart, so the, the change is not that huge. They will both work for your car, uh, they'll just work slightly different. Stiffer spring rate will handle slightly tighter on the street. Uh, softer spring rate will transfer weight side to side or front to back a little bit easier. Uh, it'll also ride a little softer. So you can tailor your spring rate for different applications. And again, what we're shooting for is 25 to 30 percent of the free length to be compressed under the weight of the car. If you do have or if you don't have a set of springs that you know what they are, you can use a set of corner scales. You just look at what the weight of each corner is. The one thing you got to remember there, though, is that that does weigh all of your unsprung mass. So it's going to weigh your axles. It's going to weigh your uh, differential. Your if you got a, a solid rear axle, it's going to weigh the whole thing with the brakes, the tires, the wheels. So that's all pretty heavy stuff. So if you have a, a rear end weight of 1,500 pounds. Uh, you know, generally around, I usually think about 300 pounds is, a, is an average weight for a, a rear end. So I would subtract 300 pounds off of that and then start doing my calculations for how much weight it's going to take to compress a spring. If you have any questions, make sure you give us a call on our tech line or send us an email. Also make sure to like, click and subscribe to our Facebook and Instagrams at QA1 Motorsports.